Hi everyone. Welcome to the Vinegar Hair Lab. This is Tianru Jennifer. And in this video, I'm going to explain the theory behind the intelligent lab research algorithm, or to explain why the intelligent lab research can effectively accelerate the American Ocean Python process. So uh, as we said in the previous video, our intelligent lab research algorithm is based on our published paper. And first, let's think about a conventional binomial module. So to price an American option using a conventional module, uh, the pricing process is a backward inductive pricing process which means we have to start from the end, from the last column, and to calculate to the beginning. So for each node of the tree, we need to test the exercise condition of it, which means we need to calculate two kinds of value of the option associated with the node, First, we call exercise value. The second, we call holding value. The exercise value means the value you will get if you decide to exercise the option. Similarly, holding value means the value you will get if you decide to hold your option. So we need to calculate the, the, those two values, compare them, and assign the highest to the node. So for each node of the tree except the last column, we have to calculate, we have to test the exercise condition of each node to calculate two values, compare them, assign the highest one to the node. We have to repeat it again and again, which is the time consuming process. So we propose an extended optimal exercise boundary theory. It states that the optimal exercise boundary of a binomial module is continuous from the penultimate column back. Applying this theory, we'll see that from the penultimate column back, for each column, we need to check the exercise condition of at most one node. So compared with the conventional tree, we need to test the exercise condition of each node at each column. By using the extended boundary theory, we only need to test the exercise condition of at most one node at each column from the penultimate column back. So now let's make a very simple comparison to give you an intuitive result. So now we list the exercise uh, condition tests, a number of exercise conditional condition tests we need to do for the conventional CR module and for the accelerated CR module respectively. So for the different number of steps three, the conventional CR module need to conduct the number of exercise condition tests, which is equal to the number of the nodes in the tree, right? We said we have to test each node of the tree. So the number of tests is just equal to the number of the nodes of the tree. For 10 step tree, we have 55 numbers of nodes. So we have to do 55 conditional test, and for 100 steps tree, we need to conduct 5,050 exercise condition tests. And for 10,000 step tree, we even need to do, how much is it? Is a 50 million, more than 50 million exercise condition tests. Well, for the exercise CR module, as we said, we only need to test the exercise condition of at most one node at each column. So for 10 step tree, we need to test the exercise condition of at most 10 nodes. And for 100 steps tree, we only need to test at most 100 nodes and so on. So you can see 
the number of exercise condition tests for the conventional CLR module is increasing exponentially well for the exercise CLR module is just increasing as gradually like as the number of steps increase which means the computational time can be effectively reduced by using the intelligent TIP search algorithm or like using the accelerated CLR module also, we further accelerate the uh, option testing process by using the truncation technology, which means we truncate, we remove the nodes that do not actually have influence on the present value of the nodes, which including the zero value nodes and redundant exercise nodes. And the next, we apply the dynamic memory to further accelerate option testing process. We replace the conventional two-dimensional static tree by a one-dimensional dynamic tree, which means we will abandon the option value we have used and only store the option value we are using at the moment. So by using the optimal, sorry, by using the extended boundary theory, truncation and dynamic memory technology, uh, we can effectively accelerate the R module and reduce the computational time to more than 20 minutes to less than three, four seconds as we showed in the previous review. And here we also compare the accelerated CR module with the existing option testing module, including the leading benchmark tree chain Joshi module and the commonly used analytical formula, including DAW module, Burjackson and Stensland module, and Zhuzhou module. And we show that accelerated CR module proved to be more efficient than chain Joshi leading benchmark tree and is capable of producing the level speed consistent with analytical formula. So thanks for watching our video and I'll see you soon.